linebacker Derek Dumas from Crawford, Texas. Will represent the Steve Body tonight for the third time in his Back career. Back to for New Mexico, number 96, Brandon Solomon. And number eight, Bruno. The White Spring game. Dumas uh, has served as the 12th man twice previously, wearing the number 12 jersey against Arkansas State, also against New Mexico. Both games, of course, last year. Cyrus Gray in the shotgun, takes it at the 21, and he just gave it to Gray, cuts back to his right, a good yardage across the 30 to the 31 yard line. Picks up five, Gray on the third. First period, no score, the Aggies on a second down and five. Gerard's gonna throw, it's a catch, not enough for a first down, caught it at the 34, pushed back to the uh, 30 ball, caught by Jamie McCoy. And it's just a quick stop route to Jamie McCoy, one yard short of the first, and they'll Shot. run for it. And here is uh, Gerard trying to cut it, and he's got that strong on the first down. Gray with a good block on the corner. He's going to go to the second down on the other side here. Picks up the first down at the 33 yard line. Going without that huddle, they bunch three receivers up in a pyramid formation. On the right side, Gerard's going to throw, and he threw it a little bit low. Is that a catch? I, I think so. it is at the 50-yard line. Johnson's pass is We are going in a hurry. We're right back at the line of scrimmage. This time, we'll show an eye formation. And he fakes a pass to the right side. It's a drop. And the pass is a five. I think we're going to get caught for a hold. The 32 Cyrus Gray. The 43 Cyrus Gray got the carry. And he's tackled there at the 43-yard line. Let's see the meaning of that flag now. And I love the up-tempo offense, and uh, that time the draw play successful for the first goal, but I think this is coming back. 70 on the offense. 10 yard penalty. 10 yard penalty. Matt Allen just got caught for a hold. It's a ball now moved back to the Aggie 40, and we'll need to get it to the 46 uh, yard a good pick. That's a great play. They jump and a throw. And a good This is 
all to get a chance. We'll talk about it. We're at the line again. The Aggies no score. Have the ball. Here is a handoff. Uh, no, that was a keeper, I believe. It was by Gerard. Thought he gave it to Gray for a moment. That wasn't the case. Gerard Johnson Gerard carries for a couple to about the 17-yard line. Maybe just one. Exactly. Time. Formation, two wides left. And Wachiku on the right. Going to throw. Going end zone. Got Wachiku. <laughs> percent on their thirds empty in the backfield three wide left two to the right short side to the right side third down at about eight drops back at the 25 dancing still looking <laughs> So picked up about a yard. Second down, coming up. That lead seven, nothing time. First period, 9-12 to go. And he looks over at the sideline. He's got the halfback, the freshman Dennis to his right. And again, they've got three wides to the open side. Has it from the 22. Throws, a caught at the 30. Backs up to the 28. And forced out of the At the 31-yard Williams. line. Ball caught that time by Terrence Bryant Williams. And now a third down coming up. They were one out of two on the First possession. Third down here and about five. And as under pressure decides to run. And he's not going to get first down. Maybe three. And he's going to get three. And he's close. First punt tonight was good for 44 yards. And again, we will send Harris back. And they're going to, that's a bad punt. That's going to hit so way up from where Harris was standing. And they will cut it at the 33 yard line. About the 33. The Aggies did it again. First down to 10 at their 33 or 749 to go in the first. And if you're this crowd, what about this atmosphere? You ready to get out there? You're in playing shape, man. I'm in playing shape. I thought about suiting up, but they didn't have any equipment to fit me, so I had to sit it out tonight. Dante Hall, Dave. Aggies have it first down and 10, leading 7 to nothing. They have Number it three. 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 it off to Kristen Michael, gets his first Aggie carry in the maroon and white. Uh, and he got about two Tackle yards in the backfield. Three wides to the left, two are in a slot. Drops back to the 27, forced out of the pocket, rolls, throws, throws it away. Way over there in front of Johnson's the Aggies. And he fills in at a receiving position now for Texas A&M. For the halfback to the right side, here is a throw, and he's trying to get it to uh, Jeff Fuller. Johnson passes and he's going to lead him a little bit to the way. Transfer from Montana, Ken Wood, a sophomore from Spokane, transfers from the University of Montana, takes the snap. Gibbis got it back to him. Nice kick. Back it up. They're going to take it <laughs> Let's see the meaning of the flag. Number one, Dennis. Uh, 
Flags, down the flags back at the 22-yard line. Matt Moss applied a hit that time for Texas A&M. That was a third down play. This is a Mountain West crew. Matter of fact, I think, uh, Evan, we have the, uh, the line up there on these officials. If you have a chance, just go ahead and try to play that right now. Legal formation. Up in, up in. a wobbler and hits outside the Aggie 40 gets across the 40 now across the 35 at about the 34 yard line formation for Texas A&M Gerard Johnson then will move under center takes about three steps back knocks his arm now forced to run he's at the 40 puts back to his left he's at the 35 36 yard line first hand number one the right. the Aggies are doing it. they are using one back but when they want to get a fullback in there they're bringing Jay McCoy from the tight end position and he'll line up as a fullback as he is on this play. Which he just did and here is a handoff and they were all over that a loss of 32 about Cyrus three, Gray for back for back loss of 43 play. Cyrus Gray Nine, three, wrapped up that time by Peter Gardner the left tackle. Looks to the sideline. Now turns and looks at the offensive line. Takes a step back still looking over the defense. They got a four man front. They're threatening a blitz and they did bring that guy. Drops all the way back to the 32. Forced out of the pocket. There's the flag down. A pass and a catch at the 50. Oh, that's the that's the line. Line. At the 49 yard line. That's the New Mexico 49. Ball caught by Cyrus Gray. But I got a sneaking suspicion here. It's going to be a hold against a &M. Well that's exactly what and usually when it's back in the backfield like that, it is a hold. But a good job by Gerard of uh, buying time and then finding Cyrus out in the flat, who did a good job of picking up yardage. But this one's going to come back. Three wides to the right Second side, down, two on the left. The Aggies, break one of those guys and bring him back to the left halfback position. That's Gray. Gerard has the uh, snap. He's going to throw a screen here. It goes to Gray, crosses the 35. A flag down on the far side of the field at the 35-yard line. Tackle made here Pass at about the 41 by Carmen Gray. Messina, sophomore from Madison, uh, Illinois. And that's Cyrus Gray, who just caught the ball and uh, gained to the 41-yard line. It's going to go against Texas A&M. This was a little... 74 the offensive line 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 scrimmage. Five-yard penalty, second down. Beating the Lobo 44-yard line. The shotgun again. Rod from the 21, going to throw. That's a Jeff Fuller catch on his back at the 41-yard line. And he makes this uh, third down play manageable. It's uh, third and 15. Tannehill and Michael are both in the uh, lineup. Here's a throw. And a throw behind Tannehill at the 41-yard line. And Tannehill ran the skinny post, and he was open at the sticks, but uh, the ball behind him. The punts away. It's very high, and it's going to be short, and it's going to get an A&M bounce at the 31 and then roll out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Flag down at the line of scrimmage. 31-yard punt of the play by number 26, Ken Wood. Flag down. And it's going to go against Texas A&M. Let's see what uh, New Mexico will do here. They got a short punt. I think they probably will take the ball where they got it and decline the penalty. Formation. Kicking team. Kicking team. Five yards back. Five yards back. Middle kick. Middle kick. Out. Out. So the average will drop a little bit with that one. First down and 10 at the 33-yard line. And it's New Mexico. They will push right behind the center and get it across the 35. Maybe the 35-yard line. Dennis. It goes to Dennis again. Back to the 36-yard line. Now back to the line. Show a shotgun. Half back right. Slot to the right side. Short side to the left. Play action. Corey going to dump it off. He throws it out of bounds into the Aggie bench at the 45-yard line. We have some pressure by Kyle Mangum. And there the is a away. flag down now. This flag has down. to be holding. Back in the pocket. Invest in tomorrow. Students give scholarships through Operation Spirit and Mind, the Texas A&M Scholarship Initiative led by the Texas A&M Foundation. By the way, our pregame interview tonight, our visit with our head coach, Mike Sherman was brought to you by the Texas Farm Bureau Insurance Company. Moments worth covering are Shot never five. accidents. 78, number one on the offense. 15-yard penalty. Top down. Down. Yeah, it's a top down. Yeah, the Aggies last year averaged 56. It is uh, second down and 23. A pass at the 25 and wrapped up at the 26-yard line. That'll be a six-yard game. Ty Kirk caught. Shot down again for the Lobos. And loaded it up on the offensive right side.
goal line. And here's Harris backing up. He's at the 39. That's that one of his own man. He's returning. He stood up as he crosses the 45 at the 46 yard line. Play, number 22, and Harris. And now we'll have it first down and 10 at their 47. The that one went for 46 yards. And he's Tackled by number 55, Trey Hardaway. Right at the, uh, Ms. Miller, right at the goal first line. First and 10. Quickly right back out on the field. Kristen Michael will check in now as the running back. And, uh, Gerard's going to move up under center. Kevin uh, Matthews as the line of scrimmage uh, will be spotted at the 47-yard line near midfield. And give it to Michael. Bounces in there, and he is wrapped up. Got two guys on him, and they drag him down. Number 33, Kristen Michael. Be no game. Kendall Briscoe, a senior from Dallas, was one of those two guys on the tackle. In the shotgun from the 40. Forced out of the pocket. He's wrapped up and slugged to the ground. At the 35, he's spotted at the 37. And it was Jonathan Rainey. Rainey who got that sack on Gerard Johnson. Clock down to 15, game clock at 24. It's a third down play, 20. The ball at the AM 37, needing the New Mexico 43. Plenty of time. Going to throw it out of the uh, flats. That is to at the 40. At the midfield strike, coughs it up. I think he was out of bounds. They're going to spot him out. Back uh, away from the 50 at the Aggie 46 yard line. That is a big number for a high snap. Give us back to uh, Wood. And the kick is off to the uh, left side. Number 26, roll. Kent oh, Woods punt. He's going to roll out of the yard line. He's down to 10. He's under center. Deep high back at the goal line. And that guy got it. Dancing cuts off to the right side. That's the first one on his back. Out of bounds across the 10 to the 11. This is a bounce out. The Aggies' pursuit has just been really good. Got a throw straight in the side. If the Aggies are all over it. At the line of scrimmage at about the 12-yard uh, line. And a rolling Bruno. And it was Sean Porter who got over there and helped Bruno. make that tackle. Yeah, they're one of five on their thirds. New Mexico slot left, slot right. Open side of the line. Half back left. Max coming up the middle. He throws the ball a little bit low. Close for a first down. Uh, they say no. He didn't play it. Six on their third down. This is a fourth down punt. Takes the snap a yard deep in the end zone. It's a wobbler and it's very low and it's going to get a roll. And he's rolling to the sideline. Just across the 50, shy of the 45, out of bounds at the Aggie 46. Time 13 46. Playing first, uh, second quarter football now. 46 the Aggies have a 7 0 lead. Harris Gray is to the left of our quarterback, Gerard Johnson. Snap from Matthews, play action, and he was going to be a quarterback draw. He faked it to uh, Gray. Number one, Gerard Johnson, back into a loss on the play by number 48, J.R. Legend. So a second down now, David, about 15 coming up. A stub up, everybody wins because fans supply the tickets. Loss of five. Set the price. A stub up second provides 15 a safe market place. You have to take guarantee for great Aggie tickets. Go to stubhub.com or call 1-866-STUBHUB. Official secondary ticket marketplace. Going to throw the ball. And it is a catch across the 45, about the 47-yard line. Johnson's caught pass by is caught by number seven. Uh, Makes it third and seven at the 49. The outside is Wajiku that time, but he picks up enough uh, to make this manageable on third down, third and seven. Mags now two of five on our thirds at the 41. Throws it. It's a catch. It's ten. And he's got a first down. 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 This offensive team, he'll pick up 11 on that, pick up the first down. Caught 55 last year, play action, and rolls after a third. <laughs> and a halfback left, a shotgun again. Gave it to the halfback. Ooh, at the 20 at the line of scrimmage. And that's Cyrus Green. 50 in the backfield, Dave. They loaded up with three to the left side. We got... Uh, a slot here on the right. Watch it. Who's the wide man? Again, there's backside pressure. Look out. He's coming from the backside. Broken tackle. It's all the way to the 15. Number one, Gerard Johnson. Johnson over here. As he's run out of the tackle pocket. Number near side line across the 20. And down he goes at the 15. Or straight to the right here of Gerard. Split in here on the right side. Wants to throw. He will. And that is for him. He can burst down at the 10. Shotgun one more time for uh, Johnson. Half back to the right is Gray. And he gave it to Gray, and he gets across the line of scrimmage, maybe the seven and a half yard line. Cyrus, Cyrus just got carry number four tonight, maybe a couple there, four carry six yards. 
Uh, second and goal from the seven yard. Fuller now three uh, for 36 on his catches. Watcher two, two for 11. Tannehill got 11 a moment ago. Here's a second down play. Throwing it high. Oh, a leaping uh, effort at it at the three yard line by Fuller. Gerard now is nine of 14, throwing the football 116 yards, as long as 42. He's run for the touchdown tonight. The Aggies now have the seven nothing lead. Third down and goal at the eight. And a screen. Watch it too. Uh, looked like that was going to develop. He's knocked Fast down at the four yard line. Caught it from the six. It was back to Jailbreak that time. And Frankie Baca made the tackle. At the 26, line, Frankie Davis. Baca making the stop. Uh, Should be straight on, Dave. Seven of eight last year. Bullock kicking in the last seven games of the season. Here's the staff to kick. Dead right through the middle. We got a new score. We got a new score. We got a new score. Texas A&M 10 and the Mexico Zero. Devon Dennis and Rolando Bruno are the deep guys. They're standing here just outside the goal line. That is Bruno at the three. He's the top guy. The bottom guy is Dennis and he is standing up. It's a short kick. Kick off covered by him. Uh, looking at uh, total offense, the Aggies have 28 plays, 157 yards for Mexico. They lose a yard on the screen at the 26. Second down. Off of the yard of the play. Got Spencer Daly back in the lineup. Now he's playing a defensive end position. Here's second down at 11. Half back left. Hunter eight. Look to the right. Here's a throw. That's a catch at the 24 to the 30 to the 32. Stiff arm and out of bounds they go at the 34 yard or 8 of 17 on the third of last year's game. Balls at the 34. They need the 37 yard line. At three on the 34. Shotgun. Drops back. Steps up. Throws. A catch. Close for a first down. Let's see where they Puerto start. Puerto Rican. First and 10. New Mexico with their own 38. Have a 10 lead over New Mexico. Here at Kyle Field. Great crowd behind watching this one. It's play back up. Hand off to Dennis, the freshman. Caught, dropped behind the line at the 35 yard line. For one, Demont Dennis on the carry. Kevin Campbell's also in the lineup right now for AM on a second down and about 12. For the man in motion going back to the right side is Bruno. Play action by Puerto Rico. Throws. A catch wide open. Caught the ball. Goes down to the Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's pass. He's caught. 742 to go until halftime. Aggies lead 10 0. the ball, catch across the 40, close for a first down, it is a first down, the Aggie 34, 728 until halfway, 10 up in the eyes, throw it, screen, off the fingertips of the intended receiver that time, Porter it'll pass. be tied, He's uh, complete. Intended for number eight, Roland Bruno. a freshman from uh, Arlington, about 10 at the Aggie 33 yard line, hit the in the backfield, throws, off the fingertips of the intended receiver, Bryant Williams, back to the side of Porter, that's all the way back. The boy steps out, wants to run. He is trapped. They just credited him with a sack on Miller, so he sealed the deal with his second sack of the night. High on the snap. And they were trying to get it to call up in the corner. That went into the end zone. So out to the 20, it will come. Oh, the uh, touch with McNeil's checked into the lineup for the first time tonight for Texas A&M offensively. A&M's got the ball first down and 10 at their 20. Half back to the left of our starting quarterback, Gerard Johnson. The snap drops back to the 11. Steps up. He's strong. He's got a guy. Right? He's out of 10 of 16. The ball throwing tonight for Johnson. 119 yards. Actually 10-0. 621 to go until halftime. It's a second down and 10 at the 20. And it's a draw. It's a good hole across the 30. but a big hole opens up right in the middle. Tristan Michael does his job, gets 20. First down, 10, a throw, catch across the 45. They'll give him the 47, push back Johnson across the 45. It's Jeff Fuller, you love these second downs. You got second down and three. Ideal play, pitch, deep man, in the back of the right, Michael cuts to the 50. <laughs> the 
First down and 10 at the 29-yard line. A throw out here on the uh, flats. And that's going to be Jamie McCoy. Four, McCoy. They McCoy. tie in. They force him out of back. 25. Brown's going to line up as the uh, fullback of Cyrus Gray's in the lineup. He got the Touchdown for your Aggies. And now the point after Tannehill will hold. Gibbs is going to snap it. Extra point number 28, Randy Bullock is good. Set to 40% for you and your young driver for the Texas State Farm agent today. He will be quick on this one. Pretty well beat. And it's going to be Marino. Here he comes back. He's at the 20. Aggies close on it. They run into a lot of traffic right there across the 20 to about the 23 yard line. Marino on that return. We're going to shot that one more time. He's uh, going to see a handoff, and that's the freshman, and he breaks it. who is the widest of uh, the three here on the right side. Empty in the backfield. Long snap count here. It's first down for the Ags after the turnover. The fumble recovery by Texas A&M at the 28. Snap, the throw, and they catch across the 25 to the 23-yard line. Yeah. That's ready to sell you a hot, delicious Pizza Hut pizza right here at Kyle Field. New Wing Street's open on Highway 6 in Welburn. Pizza Hut, proud corporate sponsor of A&M Athletics. Going to throw. Catch down around his knees. That is McNeil, his first Aggie catch. Good for a first down right at the 15. It's not a really good throw, but it was a great catch by McNeil for his first one and a first down. A flag down, and we're going to run here to the right side. That Number 32, Cyrus, Cyrus Gray on the carry. And flag he's out of bounds play. at the uh, seven-yard line. Would not be enough for a first down. Needing the five, it looks like, for a first Holy. to go. Holes. Okay. Now they tried that toss right, sweep down. again, and they had good room out there, but uh, they were caught for holding, were the Aggies? Well, the back ten. That's going to be penalty number five against the Aggies. Five for 40 here tonight. 37 plays, 250 yards. Total offense, Texas A&M. The ball now back at the 25-yard line, needing the five of New Mexico. This is all set up after a fumble recovery. Coming up the middle, forced out of the pocket. Throws incomplete. Down around the ankles. Bob Lee Grimes. Pass is incomplete with number one Ron Johnson. We're going to call this intentional grounding. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah. The well, they, they were looking at the the numbers there, and they thought, okay, that's not a number that can catch a ball. <laughs> Moving the wrong way. It's all the way back to the 35 yard line. It is second down and 30. Half back right, and on the ground, the Cyrus drives the middle. That's about two, maybe uh, two yards. Maybe number 32, down. Cyrus Gray so on the carry. Third down and a bunch. Third down at about Tackle 28. Line of scrimmage, the 32 on third down. A&M is four out of eight on third downs. Again, it would take the five-yard line for a uh, first and goal. Ryan Tannehill's in the lineup. A lot of time. Going to throw. Tannehill. And he's going to go across the 20. And they're going to wrestle him to the ground at the 17-yard line. Tannehill to catch. That'll be a second of the uh, night. He's going to get 11 early. He's 2 for 26. Huh? All right, he had a 22-yarder earlier. Chip shot that he drilled right through. Randy Bullock looking for his second field goal of the game. Tannehill the holder. Here's the staff to hold the kick. And it just made it inside. 34-yard field goal. Yeah, the
Ask Coach Sherman if he'd be willing to uh, all of our whole thing, on the return, willing, uh, tackle by number 35. To talk to us as soon as the halftime starts as he is walking toward uh, the locker room and he said he would. So Tom Kirbyville will be down there with a question to get the coach to first attend to Mexico with their own 35 yard line. Uh, in this first half. So Coach Sherman on at the beginning of the half. And Puerto uh, Rico looks over again at the uh, sideline. They've got 29 plays, 78 yards. Drops back, screen. It's Dennis the freshman. Got a hole for him. He's at midfield, brought down from the backside. Chase Puerto Rico passes caught by number one. Miller, so minute 41 to go until halftime. Wanting to throw, got to do it. And it's at the 50, got up. Did not take a knee there as he caught Corey's the ball. Goes to the 43-yard line. Bruno. Bruno squatted to get the Tackled ball. Caught it to the 50, and then he's Sean able Porter. to run it down to the Aggie 42-yard line. Ball now to the Aggie 42-yard line. Rolling right. Puerto Pops his arm. Going to throw it away. He'll work the clock down to a minute. Puerto Rico passes. A lot of pressure. Ron Miller. Find his face. Third down. All the thirds have been too late. Both thirds with three timeouts for them. Pops back to the 50, steps up, throws, a catch. It's a first down, out of bounds. Puerto Rico's pass is caught by number 84. By Ty Curry. Four games last year that an ACL prevented any further play. Starts the option, coming back. Dennis slows up. He got by the first guy that's got back to his right. He number got one, back Demond, Dennis, on the yard. carry tackle by number 77. The 34 and a half. Looked like that might develop, but when he made that got back, Matt Featherston was waiting for it. Featherston's one of these vocal leaders, by the way, off this football team. Stops, throws, at the 30, a catch. They're going to step out of bounds. Not enough for a first down at the 28-yard line. Pass complete to number seven. Caught by Williams. This will be a third and two. They've got three timeouts, so they can run for it or pass for it. Slot both sides. Porter throws a catch, a first down at the 20. Dragging him down will be Terrence Porter Frederick. Porter's pass is caught at by the number five, Darryl Jones, number the seven, Terrence spot. Frederick making his Timeout's over. They're back at the line of scrimmage. It's a man in motion. And he wants to throw, and he is going to have that Passes is incomplete. Intended receiver was Daryl Jones. They're going to say he had his hand on his back before Darryl the ball. Daryl Jones flags down the play. Yeah, and he had good coverage. I don't think he really needed to bump him. Oh, and we had a, another defender coming across the front. So let's see where this, this ball will end up. Pass interference. 21 defense. The 15-yard penalty. Automatic, automatic first down. First down. Nice mark for the right. Jonathan Stewart. Stewart. Freeport Bird made the uh, tackle as he hit it down oh, around the knees. A timeout's going to be called here by New Mexico. 33 seconds to go. They have one for my Six seconds. Takes it. 
And he hands off, and that is Cyrus. Cyrus across the 35. Number 32, and Cyrus six. Gray on the carry. Tackle by the So the last touchdown they scored in a season opener came against UNLV back in 2005. A nine, uh, a one-yard run. Uh, the 13-24 to go in the fourth. That was the last touchdown in a season opener. back picked it up and it's michael and he is swarmed after he picked it up number 33 kristen michael on the run. return for the it's an opening up at quarterback will take the snap standing at the aggie nine drops back a couple of yards he throws this way it's a catch and that'll be mccoy and he's out to the 21 yard line easy. And on the ground we go across the 25, about the 28. First down, Texas A&M, Cyrus, Gray, Cyrus Gray. Got a man split out here to the right side. Play action by Gerard. Wanted to run, then he decided not to. He finds an open man. That's McCoy, but a move on a guy. Another move. <laughs> He's going to get it to the 35-yard line. A couple of nice moves there. Yeah, he did. He's moving very well. He's really adapted to that tight end position well. Second down at about three. Sidearm it. And does that McCoy again at the 40, 45. Touchback, 50. He's at the 45. He's at the 43. He's no more Exactly Jamie now has caught five for 44. Going to go on the ground. It's a that a keeper by Gerard. Gerard it will yes. be number one Gerard the Johnson on the line. carry tackle by number four. four. Seven Eight, out of six Marshall. coming up at the low ball 40. You heard Coach say as he talked to Tom there at the beginning of the half. Want to do some things on the offense. Keep shooting ourselves in the foot, according to Coach Sherman in that first half. So they want to come out and get some offense going in the second uh, 30 minutes of play. It's been snapped all the way back to the uh, 50. Now he throws, and he's got it. That's a first down at the 30 yard line. He threw that ball all the way back to the 43 yard line to Johnson. And a catch at the 30, and that's Howard Morrow. Yeah, great down. improvisation here. He was under pressure and showed off a strong arm to pick that one up. That's a 10 yard pickup. And a Bumble play right Number 32, here. Cyrus Gray. Oh, Cyrus, 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 Cyrus Gray five, on three, his own Harvard. read, and uh, he was bottled up, but a couple of nice moves, one and he was able game. to pick up one yard. Second. Johnson with a halfback either side of him. He'll take the snap, standing at about the low bowl, 34-yard line. Slot right, split in left, short side to the left. Plenty of time, throws. It's a catch, and that's a first down. It's a cross the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. doing a good job of running off the defender and then coming back to the ball and with that big body you just can't stop it if the ball's thrown well and it was first down 11 yard pickup quick snap no huddle it's gray across the 15 near the 10 yard line cyrus Rod saying something stepped up toward the line made another comment the snap, the throw goes to the sideline, and it is Fuller. He stretches out. He got a first down. Wrapped up Passing around the waist, and then he Fuller. just stretches his body and puts that ball out in front of him. Frankie Sullivan down caught the it. Six yard. And uh, now from the left hash mark, with two wides on the right, split in left. Well, we're going to keep it on the ground. This has a chance. It's inside the five. It's down Number to the Number 33, Kristen, Kristen Michael on the Right back to the line on a second and goal, and it is Kristen Michael. <laughs> Texas Case IH is proud to support every Aggie trip to the red zone this season. Just got a red zone score right there. Danny Hill will put it down after the snap from Gibbs. The extra point is good. Yeah, Our score, score Texas good. 27. Aggies now Mexico just got three. 27 points. We lead New Mexico 27 to 3. Uh, they've been very efficient tonight. And this is the best way they could open the second half. Mike wanted to get some consistency. They, uh, they have an 86 yard drive to open the second half. The 20 around the ankles. He goes out to the 25 yard line. Number 96, Frankie Solomon the first on the return for the local. At their own 25 yard line, the Aggies have their biggest lead. Tackle by number 30, Don Fisher. Over the Lobos of New Mexico. 40 deep 
in at the quarterback position. Check his numbers here in a moment as he goes back under center. He's gone to the air 26 times, completed 19 for 124 yards. First down play. Short drop, throw, screen here to the left side. And the caught the ball is Roland Bruno. Well, eight, I think Bruno. I heard Tom say he had seven, seven tackles. Frederick's on the stop for the eight. Eight. And here on this side is Dustin Harris. Ted Hunter starts to step up. And they snapped it. They'll throw it. And it's across the 30. It's to the 32-yard line. The tackle made by Ted Hunter. The ball caught by Dale Jones. Five. He is one Darryl of the seniors Jones. on this team. Third down play. Four of on their thirds tonight. High formation for the Lobos. Puerto raises up. Looks to the sideline. High formation. He is under center. And it's play action. Being chased. Here's the throw. And a pass is incomplete. The ball is intended for Bruno. Roland Bruno by Allen Blake. So a defensive pass interference call against Texas A&M. That uh, came at about the 35-yard line, the point needed for the first down. I'm not going to say anything. All right. Ball moved out here to the 36-yard uh, line on the defensive pass interference call. Formation. Hands off. It's the freshman. This will be his battle. Started to say if he continued out to his left side, he's going to get some ball yards. Ball carriers number one. Back and knock Devon out at the 40-yard line. And the Aggies lead New Mexico 27 to three. Shotgun formation. And a halfback off each hip of Porter. Porter, one of the seniors, and is a Texan from Port Arthur. Hands off. Nice hole. Out across the 50 and out of the 43 Ball yard line. Number 34, that is AJ, AJ Butler. Butler, the other running back that they were talking a whole lot about out of their August Tackle camp. Number and he just carried Dustin for a Harris. first down to the 44. Line of scrimmage now will be the 44. 19 to go, third quarter. The Aggies lead 27 to 3. They have moved it out of the native territory. Shotgun again. Corey is going to play action. I'll throw out in the flats. Aggies are all over. They're going to last second play. And that's Butler with a half pass, trying to set up a screen to the right side. That will be a loss back to the A&M 46-yard line. A loss of a couple. So third down, and it's more like 13 coming up. Need about 12. They've got to get it to the Aggie 34-yard line. Wants to throw. Yeah, so that's a catch, and that's a first down. It's inside the 35 to the 31-yard line. Henry Jones caught it. Santa Hunter was there defensively, but he was late getting over. It's down number 12 now for New Mexico. Very workmanlike play action by Portery rolling right, being chased by Neely. Goes out of bounds back outside the line of scrimmage. Number 15, the official spot at the 33 yard line. Block snap down here on a second down and 10. Back back right again for Portery. Fakes to that guy, rolls right, looks down the field. I think he's going to throw this one away. He did to the officers of the day. Another clock down to 23 seconds, down to 22. Taking their time here before they snap this ball. Big third down. Throw, lofting one. Got a guy over his head. Down inside the 10 yard line. Intended for Daryl Jones. The first one, Trent Hunter. Just out of reach. Five, inside Jones. the 10, out of bounds. It went about the 8 or so. All right, let's see if Tim do that. His long is 48. This would match his career long. Here's the snap, the hold, the kick. It's got the direction, and it just got in the left the kick upright. Is good. A 48-yard field goal by James Aho. That matches his, his career long, 48 yards. Nice kick. He's 46 left to play in the third quarter in the second field goal of the game by New Mexico. James Aho is a 48-yard kick. Tim plays 44 yards into three the minutes and 59 seconds to play. The 15-yard catch by Darrell Jones, 27-6. to six. The Aggies lead 646 left to play in the third. Turned in three sacks tonight. We had 16 all of last year. Here's the kickoff. And at the six, it's Michael to the 15 to the 20. Cuts back left. Oh, guy got him around the ankles. About to go. We got a flag. Oops. Out at the 31 yard line. Caught him at the 21 and dropped him down. He was about to make another cut. I'll tell you what, boy, he does have some feet on him. Man, he can make, he can cut on that proverbial dime. Well, he's got some strength, too. He's very strong. 15 yard return. Let's see what happens. 27. It's going to push us back. First down. First down. All right, so half the distance on the hold. 6.39 to go. Brandell Jackson now is in First the lineup. He's a freshman from Navasota, 6'1", 182. 
And it's Cyrus cuts back as he gets the handoff from the line of scrimmage. Number 32, Cyrus Gray on the carry. About Perry. the 16, maybe 17-yard line. Shotgun formation for uh, Gerard Johnson. Of course, we've home it out the huddle tonight. Getting it quick out there to the uh, quarterback. Here's going to dump one out over the middle. That goes to Cyrus at the 20-yard line. He was Johnson hit as soon as he caught the ball. And he was able Gray. to hang on, though. Brought it in and hit and knocked down by Clinton. Number 11, Clinton. This will be the 56th play of the night for AM. Going to throw it. And it, it, did he catch that? Yes. Maybe he did. It's a catch across the 25 to the 26. And that's Jackson Johnson's from Minnesota. Played for uh, former baseball player Lee Fedora down there. Flag's going to stop the play here. AM did something offensively. And this is going to be our 10th uh, penalty of the night. For 10 penalties now, 73 yards. Three wides right, that's the open side, a slot to the left, the short side. And now Johnson saying something to those two receivers off to his left. Drops back, gonna throw it over the middle, break a tackle, and across the 20. Now they say he touched down a knee, got him at the 26 yard line. Randall Jackson, Randall Jackson, second catch. Aggies now in total offense, 368 yards. This is play number 58. Stepping up and now running the ball is going to be Gerard. Now first down is across the 40. Number 41. He did a very good play. 383 yards of total offense. Play action by Gerard. He's got a guy deep. That's watch it too. Let's see if he can jump right down. And it's incomplete. Looks like they intercepted that ball out of bounds at about the 15. Two on each side of the formation on receiving. Gerard throws, and that's off the fingertips of Brandell Jackson. All of a sudden, he likes Jackson. Passes it. What would you say, half a dozen times he's been out there? Panhill, you mean? Yeah. He's got a couple of catches already. Yeah, but I mean, just you know, plays. Here's a throw, and that's a catch. That's Fuller at the 43. Did uh, they say he fumbled the ball? Yeah, number eight, Jeff Fuller. Looks like the referee's spotting it at the 45. I think they were fooled. Is he going to stay there? Well, let's see. We got it on the replay right now. Then fumbled and recovered by New Mexico. Here comes the Dale Buzzard from upstairs. Well, New Mexico's trying to get a playoff before they can buzz it, but like, this one is going to come back and it'll be a first down for all the Yeah. <laughs> AM leads 27 to 6, 352 to go, and here comes the ruling from up on the ninth level with the replay group. Well, New Mexico's already got their defense on really the field. Really Runner had his four on the ground. As a result, it's first and ten at the 43 yard line. Please reset the game clock to 357. And for AM, it's 20th first down of the night. Going to throw here tomorrow at the 45 40 flag. They're going to get uh, caught for a uh, clip in the back. Pass is complete to number five, Howard Morrow, but there's a flag down on the play. All right. Which is one of the. And, and uh, here's the oh, old man. That's going to be the 11th penalty of the night for AM. I know. Uh, he, he did it. It was a hold on Wachiku, and he did it. I just saw it on the replay. By the way, ties Fuller's best in receptions. He had eight at Iowa State last year. He's got eight tonight. This is not his best in yards. Play action. Pumps once. Now throw it deep. Left side. Over three is man at the 10-yard line. That was Morrow, the intended Johnson's receiver. Went deep. Five, it was a Howard first down Morrow. and 15, or 16. It'll be uh, second, second down, down coming up. Yeah. Second down play. Half back left. I think that's gray. Three wides to the left side. One here on the right. Going to move the half back left side to his right hip. And he's going to, it's play action. He kept the ball. He is falling forward across the 40 there, 39 yard line. Lost Number one, Gerard Somebody Johnson on the carry. Down around the left or right foot. And he fell forward, Dave, to the 53, Kendall so Briscoe on the stop for New Mexico. And back to the line of scrimmage. Come your eggs. A third down play with 6 of 11 on thirds tonight. Lead the 33 yard line operating in New Mexico territory. At their 39, leading here 27 to 6. Pressure, throws. Oh, nice job. Oh, 
All right, for Johnson now, he is 27 of 36, 268 yards. And we're looking now, Dave, to help him out. Toss sweep. Toss sweep to Cyrus Gray. Toss sweep to Cyrus Gray. This is the play that Kristen Michael gashed him for early in the, or at the end of the first half. And now it's Cyrus Gray, and he's going to... He's going to pick up, let's see where they're going to spot it. About uh, eight. Seven. Second down for Texas A&M. And Craig Raschke, a sophomore from uh, Brownwood. Here's a uh, pitch. We're going to find another penalty here. Across the uh, 15th flag goes Number down. Number 32, Cyrus Gray on the carry. But it's a flag. It's going to go against Texas A&M. Good job by Cyrus. Uh, the sweep right again. And uh, it's not the toss sweep. It's a handoff. He Holding. takes it outside, outside zone. 50 on the offense. 10-yard penalty. <laughs> Down. That was uh, Lee Grimes' replacement, Craig Raschke, who uh, drew that. Both those guys, by the way, from Brownwood. And now Lee is back in the lineup, so he has come back in off the sideline after missing that last uh, couple of plays anyway. Well, Gerard, as far as receptions and uh, our completions tonight, and one of his best nights, 31 is best ever. He's got 27 completions. Drops back, has a chance at another here. Rolling to his left, still looking as he goes, and stopping. Now he's going to come, and he is going to throw it. And he throws it out of bounds on the far side of the field. Yeah. Here's the third down and 12. Keeps a half back either side. They're coming. Yeah, they are. And he's running for his life, and he's throwing. That's full. Oh, what would you say, half a dozen times he's been out there? Panhill, you mean? Yeah. He's got a couple of catches already. Yeah, but I mean, just you know, plays. Here's a throw, and that's a catch. That's Fuller at the 43. Did uh, they say he fumbled the ball? Number eight, Fuller. Right Looks like the referee's spotting right it at the 45. I think they were fooled. Is he going to stay there? Well, let's see. We got it on the replay right now. Then fumbled and recovered by New Mexico. Here comes the Dale Buzzard from upstairs. Well, New Mexico is trying to get a playoff before they get buzzer, but like this one is going to come back and it'll be a first down for him. Yeah. Oh, AM leads 27 to 6, 3.52 to go, and here comes the ruling from up on the ninth level with the replay group. Well, New Mexico's already got their defense on the field. Runner had his four on the And for AM, it's 20th first down of the night. Gonna throw here tomorrow at the 45 40 flag. We're gonna get uh, caught for a uh, clip in the back. Pass is complete to number five, to Howard Morrow, but there's a flag down on the plate. All right. Which is one of the. And, and uh, here's the other man. That's gonna be the 11th first penalty of the night for AM. I know. Uh, no, he, he did it. It was a hold on Wachiku, and he did it. I just saw it on the replay. This, by the way, ties Fuller's best in receptions. He had eight at Iowa State last year. He's got eight tonight. This is not his best in yards. Play action, pumps once, now throwing deep. Left side, over three's man at the 10-yard line. That was Morrow, the intended Johnson receiver. Went deep. It was a first down Morrow. and 15, or 16. It'll be uh, second, second down. down coming up. His second down play, half back left. I think that's great. Three wides to the left side. One here on the right. Going to move the half back left side to his right hip. And he's going to, it's play action. He kept the ball. He is falling forward across the 40 there, 39 yard line. Lost Number one, Gerard Somebody Johnson on the carry. Down around the left or right foot. And he fell forward, Dave, to the 53, Kendall so Briscoe on the stop Gerard for New Johnson. Mexico. And back to the line of scrimmage come your eggs. A third down play with six of 11 on thirds tonight. Lead the 33 yard line operating in New Mexico territory. At their 39, leading here 27 to 6. Pressure, throws. All right, for Johnson now, he is 27 of 36, 268 yards. And we're looking down, Dave. Toss sweep. 
Toss sweep to Cyrus Gray. This is the play that Kristen Michael gashed him for early in the, or at the end of the first half. And now it's Cyrus Gray, and he's going he's gonna to pick up. Let's see where they're going to spot it. About uh, eight. Seven. Second down for Texas A&M. And Craig Raschke, a sophomore from uh, Brownwood. Here's a uh, pitch. We're going to cut a five. Across the uh, 15 flag goes Number down. Number 32, Cyrus down. Gray on the carry. But it's a flag, flag and it's going to go against Texas A&M. Good job by Cyrus. Uh, the sweep right again. And uh, it's not the toss sweep, it's a handoff. He Holding. takes it outside, outside zone. 50 on the offense. 10 yard penalty, <laughs> second down. That was uh, Lee Grimes' replacement, Craig Raschke, who uh, drew that. Both those guys, by the way, from Brownwood. And now Lee is back in the lineup. So he has come back in off the sideline after missing that last uh, couple of plays anyway. Well, Gerard, as far as receptions and uh, our completions tonight, and one of his best nights, 31 is best ever. He's got 27 completions. Drops back, has a chance at another here. Rolling to his left. Still looking as he goes and stopping. Now he's going to come and he is going to throw it. And he throws it out of bounds on the far side of the field. Yeah. Here's the third down and 12. Keeps a half back either side. They're coming. Yeah, they are. And he's running for his life and he's throwing. That's full. Oh! What a throw by Gerard Johnson. He's rolling to his left, has to throw across his body and completes this pass. Going to try to it. It's a halfback pass, but we're not going to get it off. We're going to have to end up running with it. I really think that uh, Cyrus wanted to throw Number that ball. Number 32, Cyrus Graham. The, 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 corner. Corner. Uh, the pressure caught well, up with it. He did get a block line. trying to get away from the pursuit. Favors hash mark right side. You got McCoy, you got Wachiku out there. There's Howard Morrill. There's Fuller over on the other side. The running back is Cyrus Gray. Running back to the left. Nope, they didn't. Gonna throw it. Gonna throw it inside. <laughs> Touchdown for the Aggies. Good play. It was Fuller. He said easy, but it was <laughs> watch that this year. Oh, oh, extra point is good. Twenty eight. Was not easy. Fuller has a uh, new personal high for Fuller. His catch is also a personal high. Gets it back to the 35 36 uh, yard line. That's the second time that we have uh, kickoff return by number 32. John. And we got 27 seconds in the third quarter. And the Ags lead it here 34 to 6. Far cry from last year's game of uh, 28 22. And they're off the ground, but they had to have that running back. No, it was a keeper here. Uh, back to a handoff. Number eight, Roland Bruno the on the carry for the Lobos. Tackle back, number Butler 35, it, Ricky the Bruno coming back from the right side to the left side. And out of bounds, he goes at the 45-yard line, pick up of eight. He had a lot of big plays tonight. Whether he wants to throw, he does. It's a catch. It's a close to a first down. Where did he step Pass up? Pass is complete. Like number 34, the 40, AJ Butler. That's, that's the end of the third quarter. Our score, Texas A&M 34. New Mexico, the case it's going to be the 13th penalty and that is the case the 13th penalty of the night and Bob Miller will get a chance to come to the sideline real quick and be asked not to make that mistake again all right we've been penalized 13 times 108 yards they keep it on the ground Number 34 to about H. three Butler yards the across the 35 to the 34 yard line line of scrimmage to the 37 the entire game is two in a slot on the right and on the opposite quarter has just turned the corner to the 30 
looking for the 25, and he runs to the sideline. Chase there by the carry. Where that flag is, it doesn't flag happen one way or the other. First foul. Clipping. Clipping. 74, 74 on the offense. On the offense. A 15 yard 15 penalty. penalty. We play second down. That is the second time they've been penalized tonight. They've got two for 31. Second down and 19. Balls at the Aggie 46. They need the end in 27. Play action. Point of action. Across the 50, it's the red shirt freshman going to be uh, caught uh, across the Aggie 40 at the 39. It's going to be 12 shot on the first down. The best receiver, Harold Jones, 5 for 53. And here is the first punt of the second half. No pressure, kicks it straight up in the air. Fair catch being called for. Oh boy, that makes me nervous. Fair <laughs> catch called for it made at the 13-yard right line by number 22, You Harris. don't want to catch them on the shoulder pad. Sometimes they'll bounce off of them. I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> that was Harris, <laughs> the freshman from Livingston. Porter, Stewart, Campbell, Harris, uh, Stephen Terrell, and uh, uh, Kristen Michael, Patrick Lewis, Kenrick McNeil, and Spencer Neely, and, and now Jackson. And the Aggies will go on the ground. For 33, yeah, Kristen, Kristen Michael, Michael on the carry Michael for the Aggies. Across the, yeah, at the 15 yard Runs line, they said the knee had got two. The second down, the number 93, was the 13. 12 15 to go in the game. The Aggies lead New Mexico 34 to 6. But uh, they probably figure he needs some work. Yep, I would agree. Nice Play bag. action, and he is rolling here to the left side, and now he's on the sideline. Stops, cuts back from a guy, and they've got him. And he dives forward to the 20-yard line. He got five out of all that. Empty in the backfield. He loaded it up on the right side. One, two, three, four guys over there, and one on the left. Gerard by himself at the 15. The snap, throws in a hurry, a catch, and that will be Jackson again. Come on, Randall, 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 Randall. Played Tackle for Lee Fedora down Anthony there, Hooks. and he caught that one, and they dropped him at the 26. The tackle made for the right quarterback, Anthony Hood. And now has caught three for 17. It's a first down play. Remember, Dave, that's the young man. We met his sister down there right. in Navasota when I picked Brandy. you up there. Yep. Here's first down, and uh, Tail, oh, nice hole. A spin move, and out to the 35 yard line will go Kristen Michael. Yard zone, uh, on the play. The inside Second zone, and one, boy, a, he's so, such a quick starter. Number one, Gerard down, Johnson right on the middle. quarterback sneak runs to the 38-yard line. And that'll be line. Gerard to get the uh, three-yard gain the and the first fight down. Texas Aggie first down. Uh, it's going to go as number 24 for the Aggies. Here's what Kristen Michael has done in uh, his first game wearing that maroon and white. He's gone nine carries and 75 yards. And he just fell away again. He's at midfield. He's across the 50 at the 48. Number 33, yard Kristen yard. Michael on and the carry. It's Michael and again, Mexico a first down right. carry. Oh, man. He just spun out a shoe duster by the uh, defender. 14-yard pickup. Well, Whoa, what a nice one of those run. scrimmages here, Dave. He made he made a great run over the far side of the field, going back to the south end zone. He, he just really left four guys laying on the ground. They were trying to cut back to catch him. First down play, and again to Michael across the line of scrimmage, and now the, the 35 on the 44-yard line. Egg. That'll go as about a five-yard pickup. Be four and that's five, and it'll be second down and five coming up. Three wides to the right, two to the left. Line of scrimmage, the 44, New Mexico side of the 50. Under pressure, from all the way. right now before the point after 9 14 to go and that just pushed the axe up to 549 yards of total offense Boy, some big numbers tonight and, uh, the extra point is good passive. the last three touchdown drives have been 86 87 and 88 not necessarily in that order but for a long drive Seven, 
28-yard line, maybe the 29. Oh, one a whole bunch Dennis of on the on that one. And a couple of others here in a moment. New Mexico, the football, first down and 10. And at the 29 and a half pitch, left side, the other part of that duo, the uh, freshman Butler. And they're running the into the sideline. And the about the 32-yard line. And now with a good number of tackles here tonight. Second down. And about seven. Snap is bobbled, recovered by number 15, Donovan Corey. Right. Missed, he fumbled the snap. I don't know if it was a bad snap or he just fumbled it, but uh, he got on it, Featherson was right there with him. On top of, oh, he, no, he should have caught that. It's a third down and 15 from their 24. Straight drop. Throws a bullet over the middle. And a uh, catch at the 40-yard line. Here's a guy, James. We just James. mentioned him in the lineup for the first time tonight. The That's a first down line. catch for 15 yards. yards. This is coming down. Oh, it is a hole. That's only the third penalty of the night. And that's a big one. First down out to the 40, so he erases the catch by James. And here we go. It's a third down at 24. Throws it and bounces it in at the 24 yard line. Complete. You've been aware of uh, Coriel Judy being out there. I have not seen him tonight, Dave. Has he been out there yet? Curry went out there some. Curry is next. Who else have I spotted? High snap. Steps into it. Wobbly kick. Come up and take it. Take it on the, at the 50. I thought he called for a fair catch. He didn't. Now he's running for his line. The first is his <laughs> And goes down at the 40. Lobo side of the 50. That was Harrison. 35 yard kick. And he caught it. He stood there for a second as they were trying to dig out the defense. Got a whole new offensive line. Craig Raschke's played earlier. Tommy takes the snap. Hands off to Stevens. Stevens spins. Gets uh, about four to the 45. Line of scrimmage was the 49 yard line of New Mexico. And now at the 45, it'll be second down and six coming up. Okay. Kenny Brown's out there. Terrence McCoy, Kenrick McNeil, and Brandell Jackson also still in that lineup for AM. So Tommy Dorman is going to throw on this one. Out of the flats. Brown caught it, got a first down, broke a tackle. Cost the 35 to the 33 First down for Texas AM. That's number 27. We now have 565 yards of total low. Cut back Stevens. He is across the 30 to the 27 yard number line. 20, Started Bradley left. Stevens Quick carry. cut. And Bradley Zach will get about Carter, seven Indiana. yards on that carry. Second down. Six and a and half six. to go in the game. And this year and is in the football. In the shotgun again for Dorman. And he is going to hand off and then Bradley one more yep, time for the 20 20 Bradley Stevens on the carry the yard line. Bradley Stevens getting some carries now. Exactly. And I believe that uh, JT Higgins just hired uh, an assistant uh, golf coach from New Mexico. I think that's what happened. Tommy Dorman took a high snap and uh, they almost had him in the backfield. He broke the first tackle, not break the number second. Number 13, Tommy he Dorman goes across on the, the 30 to the 28. He's going to lose a couple Back of yards. On he has thrown one pass and has a completion now since he's taken over here in the fourth quarter about halfway through. Will throw, flat foot, oh, out of the hands of the intended receiver, Kendrick McNeil. Should have had it went right through his hand. Number First down and 10 at the 28. They take over on downs. 28 from the goes. That's a catch. Maybe a first down. He turned and spun away from the defensive complete. back that was covering him that time. Justin McQueen, ball Solomon. caught by Quentin Number Solomon. Number Justin, first and 10, New Mexico at their own 38. A lot of new faces out there with this defensive lineup. We try to catch up. Yeah, with here, here's Corey L. Judy right here on this right. side of Davis. He's a cornerback right there. He's young man that came in at Fort Scott Community College. He's from Marlin. High throw, brought down, catch. And steps out of bounds. Well, the official just went <laughs> down over there. One of the sure did. Lobos ran into it. That's not enough for a first down. It's about a nine-yard catch. So it's going to be second down and one. And one New Mexico that did not stop the clock. He didn't get out of bounds. 4:35 to go in the game. The Aggies lead 41 to six. So these guys are getting a chance now. This defense is getting out. They're getting a chance to play. And. Uh, Cornery, the quarterback, has stayed in there. Here's a throw. That's a catch. That's a first down. Helmet came off. Hangs on to the football. The guy that lost the helmet was Trent Hunter. And Trent's trying to get off the field here. He did find his helmet. He put that back on. He gets to the sideline. And they made a change there with Trent Hunter. Throwing. Deep. Pushing and shoving. Now, 
I'm going to have to say here, there's a flag pass, pass incomplete. Yeah, incomplete. I really think that's offensive pass interference. Down on the play. I can see the receiver that time, Solomon, pushing off against a and I don't think that's what's going to be the call. Uh, and I absolutely agree with you. Look like this is a bad call yeah, to me. So the penalty occurred. Can't give it to a big man to the max. Bring in the house. Go screen right. Nice catch. Cross the 15, almost the 10 yard line. And the uh, catch made by Ty Ford. 34, not 84 a moment ago. So the Butler, the running back, cocks his arm, throws again. Somebody may have gotten a handle on that ball. Somebody got a hand on that ball as it went sailing by uh, Nick Hill. Wheeler, the intended receiver. Then the play for the pass. Cornery. The shotgun fakes once, pops his arm, he's got backside Big flash for at the 10 yard line. The Aggies are saying that's a All right, first down and 10 for AM. Dorman stays in, hand off, get five yards right there on that carry. Maybe Bradley Number 20, Stevens, Bradley Stevens, on the Stevens gets the carry, gets about five or six yards. 41 to six, the score. The Aggies will get a win here tonight over New Mexico, going one and zero oh to open his own. And now a couple of weeks off before uh, Utah State comes in here. There's a uh, carry to the 21-yard line of Stevens here. again. So he's been the guy to get the totes here since Dorman as the uh, quarterback. We want you here for Utah State in two weeks. Hand off, Stevens again, breaks out, spins. He's got the 35, he's got the 40, cuts back again. He broke the tackle at the 50, he's got the 50, he's got the 40, he's got the 40. What a determined run by Bradley Stevens. Back at the line of scrimmage, first down and 10, A&M at the 49, and it's Gray back out there. He crosses midfield, gets two, steps into their bench, forced out over there. Number 32, Cyrus, Cyrus Gray on the carry. He has to go back and put on the shoe. Uh, we're going to let him run this play here. Hang with me just a second. We'll talk to you again, Dave. Second down and a uh, eight-yard gain would be needed for a first down. It's the I formation. Two tights. And it is a handoff and a loss here back to the 50-yard uh, line. I'll tell you, don't take for granted these special fans. Uh, to look up at the scoreboard, 41-6, to six, and a minute left in the game to see these people still in the stands. I tell you, just hit a knee with a minute six left. And Wood. Wood tonight on his punts, three for 40. we got a return man standing at the 10-yard line. Yeah, what did he do there? Well, he rolled out to his right and oh, did a, a side yeah. leg, leg kick, and boy, that was, that was good. Goes to the for he has 53 that. yards. He does that a lot in practice. He's I know, I've seen it. It looks like uh, New Mexico is going to just run out the clock. That's exactly what they're going to do. They'll take a knee, and that'll be a snap it, and a knee, and the game will end, and the Aggies get the, the victory here. enough to win this this game today uh, very happy that we did uh, there's a lot of things uh, we can learn from this ball game uh, a lot of areas we need to improve in but I thought the the one area that I thought the, the kids uh, really came to play and uh, in spite of the many 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 mistakes we made in this ball game that we will fix on Monday morning uh, I was very pleased with uh, uh, with their effort and uh, the passion with which they brought to the game. Uh, they were excited about playing, excited about playing New Mexico, and uh, I can take my hat off to uh, Coach Luxley and his staff. They, they, they were well prepared. We just happened to, happened to hit them on a couple things, and it just uh, it's funny how this thing works. It just kind of went our way. But uh, uh, we got to fix things we need to fix and, uh, and understand this is just one ball game, and uh, we got a long way to go. Coach, could you talk about the um, the young people that played, uh, particularly the number of true freshmen and the impact that they had and the significance of that? Uh, so I want about four answers from that one question. Okay. 